Today we're going to take a look at how to set up Windows Remote Desktop Connection or Remote Desktop Protocol, RDP. And uh, to do this, we need to do some settings on the target computer. And the target computer, uh, it has to have RDP enabled, so we'll turn that on, but do know that RDP may not be available for your version of Windows because it's not available for Windows Home. So in order to use RDP, you might need to get Windows uh, Pro instead of Windows Home. Anyways, let's go to the target computer, we'll control from the main computer and just make sure that RDP is enabled and that uh, the network settings are correct. Alright, so we want to set up a remote desktop and we need to do some settings on the target computer here that we will control. And the target computer will have this uh, superior version of Windows, which is Windows 7. And inside here, we're going to uh, select uh, some settings in order to be uh, able to be, you know, controlled. So one part, we will go into control panel, as you saw, and I'll just search up control panel. And then you go up uh, to uh, system. Here we have system. Inside system, you will have advanced system settings. And on these advanced system settings, there is a tab that's called remote. We'll just go in here. And then you see remote assistance, yes, remote desktop. And you can see, click an option, uh, don't allow connections to this computer. Change this to allow connections from computers running any version of remote desktop. And then we'll just click uh, apply and OK. So that's kind of the necessary setting we gotta have there. And of course, we need an internet connection established onto the same network, you know, preferably the same switch, just like that, and it will work better. You might also need to go back to control panel here and then search for network settings, network and sharing center, like that. And inside here, you can have advanced sharing settings. And here you can see network discovery. Make sure that turn on network discovery is uh, on and not off. And just like that. And uh, well, it was already on, so that's absolutely fine. Now we should be able to find this computer from our main PC. All right, so we will begin with uh, browsing to this computer and then we can go to network and inside network we can see here we have it. <laughs> Link server, this is what I've called the other computer here. That's very beautiful. So now we know we have it here and we know what it's called. You're gonna search for remote so we can see remote desktop connection. And here we can see show options. So we can see we have an old desktop connection here. And what we basically do is we'll write in the name of the PC. The username, allow me to save credentials and connect. And then you write in your password. And there we are. We're now into the uh, other computer. So we can now use this computer as our own computer from this computer. Very spacey, but very nice. So that's really fantastic. And that's, you know, basically how you set up a remote desktop connection. Now we have this uh, saved here, but we can save this if we want to have different types of uh, desktop connections. We can just uh, save this as a file so we can launch the file uh, to get up the connection. It's really handy. We also have some uh, settings here we can change, like if you want to limit the speed of the connection. And uh, yeah, usually you don't need to play around very much with these, but you can kind of do that. You can uh, decrease some color depth for the remote connection as well, if you don't need all that. Um, we can do that for fun. Let's set it to 16 bit and we can change the window size so let's change it to 720 and connect don't ask me this again and okay and there we go 
we're into it again. You can see the color depth is worse, but that's fine. Anyways, that's how to do it. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, and if you did, leave a like. This is your host, Jim Odesim, signing out. And well, that's basically that. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, and if you did, leave a like and do subscribe for future content. This is Jim Odesim, and we're signing out.